I dropped your number about a thousand times. All I remember, you were full of lies. I'm the best hands down. Yeah, you hear the proof. Cardiac fresh down. Yeah, you see it too. All you niggas is obvious. I do, I see you do. I swing that block and I block, not in my CD too. I'm the best hands down, yeah, you hear the proof. Call the year fresh down, yeah, you see it too. All you niggas is out, poppy, I see you do. I swing that block and I block, not in my CD too. How old were you when you started doing music? Uh, maybe I was 12. Years old, yeah. Well, I started. I was doing the quarter on the, on the school desk, and then I'm from there. Okay. I wrote my first rap. Uh huh. I'm trying to make sure that my team's strong. So you was one of those dudes at the corner with the beats, and oh, you was entertaining at twelve. Yeah, back. Okay. Right. Where did the name root from? Uh, it started from I formed a clique called the Mall Fan. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, lucky Luciano was somebody I, I idolized really good. Okay. So I said the last name and Luciano was there. And one of my best friends, Kimzy, for the whole Lucian. Okay. And then we stuck with it. That's what we've been. Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah. It's very unique. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Like <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite underground artist out right now? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know the favorite? All, 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 all of my favorites are on. They bring it in. They bring it in. Okay. Is there, are there like a couple of them you can name for people to... Uh, I'm a drum? Yeah. Uh, I like the... Okay, right. Have you ever had any difficulties working with like other artists? Nah, I really didn't. No, no. Mm -hmm. so so I just choose not to. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of people tell me self is new, but I don't feel like some of these are being put in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Who would you like to collab with in the industry? That's major. That's a good one. That's a good choice. He's nice. Yeah. Uh, all of these niggas be front. We talk about bricks and you know you ain't seen place. All of the chat. Yeah, Jada Kiss is a good pick. Yeah, Jada Kiss is a good pick. I feel like he under push it. Push your T, yeah. Push your T, yeah. And Pusha T and Jada Kiss, they underrated, like they don't get much credit. I don't think they get much credit yeah, they that, don't. that they deserve. They, don't. they deserve it. Yeah. Have you ever had to tell an artist that their music is <laughs> Trash. Yeah, all the time. That's one thing I'm like. <laughs> I'm openly like, you don't get right to the chase. Don't go. I don't want no to like this. Yeah. My shit trash. Tell me my shit trash. Yeah, yeah. I've told artists like, nah, it ain't that bad. I don't do this shit. But how do you approach it? Be like. That ain't it. Like I'm not feeling that. Maybe someone else is feeling that. I'm not. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be more like personal thing. Yeah. And it helps them to grow. I don't know if it helps them to grow. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta deal with criticism, yeah, you know? True. And I, and I wanna deal with it. So that's why I sound like I'm gonna do this for my music. Don't skip them to it. Yeah. I just want you to drop. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take the heat. And then I'm gonna go in and work at it. Check out my rap. Yeah, I'm better. Exactly. Which city is your favorite to perform and why? Uh, it, it gotta be the home, Brooklyn. Gotta be the home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
What is your pet peeve? Meaning, what grinds your gears? What pisses you off about the industry? What about the mumble rap? I mean, people say, you know, it's a new generation, you know, that's the new wave, basically. what sells and what's current. I don't feel like these new artists are new you think they're a machine? Yeah. Run by. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. puppets, for real. Like, mm -hmm. I think like the identity is given to them. That is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. And instead of coming in with the identity of who you are, like really, oh no, that's really him. Like, no, he really slapped the shit out you. Like, like yeah. he's really, no, he's really a good guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's yeah. real shit. Like, yeah. Would you go mainstream or would you stay underground? If you had to pick a label, which label would you like to run? Shout out to Rick Ross, man. I want to go to Maybach. I feel like I feel like I'd be a great fit in Maybach. You know? Okay, okay. But I'm from the club. You gotta go with your music. You gotta go with your music. Like, come on. Like, you you know. Even if Fab had a laser or something, I'm going to go to the Fab. On the Fab, yeah. Like, let's keep it some Brooklyn. Yeah, that would be interesting for him to have a laser. I understand. Like, it's, come on, Fab. Or even Jada. Fab. Start a label, man, and I headline it. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you had a chance to perform overseas, which country would you pick? Hurricane is kind of wild, Okay, I do tell. Okay, what genre does your music fall in? Urban. Are you performing or working on an album right now? I'm not performing right now, but I'm open to would you ever do music in another genre? Yeah, the pandemic. I would, I would, I would, uh, venture out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The beats right. Yeah. The like, songs right, the tempo is right, mm -hmm. everything they want. I would look at it. I would definitely have no problem with that. Okay, okay. All right. What are the methods that you use in writing? From art, like, whatever comes from there, you know, if you actually went through it, you actually lived it, you actually did it, and you feel you have to write it, uh -huh. write it. Uh -huh. Don't hold no punches, curses, lines, whatever. Say yeah. what you want to say. No filter. No filter. No okay. cap. Okay. And you listen to the beat first, or do you write without the beat, or does it matter? To give it a whole way, assumption is all point. Yeah. From start to finish, like from, from the very first sound of the beat, mm -hmm. you start thinking of Jack. You just start thinking it's a process of. Okay. Where can people find? Your music, and where can people also find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, PJ underscore Runway underscore A. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, A underscore Luciano. Mm -hmm. You can find my music on YouTube. We're trying to get into all, all, all forms and fashions of media, musical media, all platforms. Soon, it's coming. We're working. It's working. It's coming. Okay, okay. Are you single right now? Yes, I'm actually single right now. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. What kind of female are you looking for? I'm looking for someone different. 
uh -huh. from from the norm. Uh -huh. Quiet book reader. Uh -huh. uh, Family oriented. Okay. You know, someone that stand out, light skin, big head, I guess. You know, everybody. <laughs> light skin, big. Yeah. You said big head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fool for light skin, big heads, man. Oh wow. Yeah, man. That's just... <laughs> so what if she got a small head? <laughs> she got a uh, forehead. Like a forehead got to be big. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm judging foreheads too. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because some guys they watch for that they be like nah she yeah. can't have no dome I'm, I'm with the toes and everything like, I'm, I'm with the toes too like if you don't got cute toes I can't rub them put the toes in the whole game so, come on I'm, I'm giving too much oh shoot have you ever had a crazy ex experience you know like they stalking you no Messing you with your car. No. Sending you threats. I'm not going. She's not even an ex. She's just like someone that's just randomly stalking me like every oh, day. Wow. Like, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. How do you deal with that? I laugh. Like I really <laughs> do. I, I laugh at it because it's new to me. It's a new experience. So mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. So yeah. I leave it. You gotta deal with it and See how move on. Roll go. Yeah. She's gonna have to stop eventually. I don't know what to do. If you weren't doing music, what else would you be doing? Uh, being a father. Oh, okay. How old is your child? My baby is 12. 12 years old? Oh, yeah. she's so yeah, she's yeah. pre teen. Yeah. Uh, hardest part of my life. But if I wasn't doing music, I would definitely be more and more, more hands on. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Like, I think that's really important for, for my child, for me. If you had to give her one advice to take with her through her journey of growing up, what advice would you give her? Be confident, be different, be you. Mm -hmm. That's good. That is good. Be confident, be you. Be you. Mm -hmm. you have to learn that individuality. And be Why yourself. Who you are. Exactly. Be who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you allow her to do music? Yes. If she. Yes. Yes. I'm kind of silently wishing she do. <laughs> Does she have like a little talent? A little something, something. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> she likes. She likes to dance. Okay. So okay. We're, we're not. <laughs> we're not doing the dance. Why not? <laughs> Have you ever had a situation where you had said to yourself, maybe this is not for me, the music? Maybe I should. Yes, I had that experience. No disrespect. Shout out to Young Thug. But when I heard Young Thug, I was like, I'm done. But oh, wow. I got to listen to his un. Side music like the, under, the, the, the underground stuff. Uh -huh. He's talented. Shout out to the boy Young Thug. Uh -huh. He's definitely talented. So it was like, wow. He was like that. He put out boobity boop boop of him. That, and that first experience was like, yeah. But then I like I, I did some research into him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got some good joints. Yeah, 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 usually when a, a new artist come out, they don't really have much control right. over their first album. Right. Because the machine, of course, says, okay, you got to look this way, you got to do this, you got to appeal to a certain audience, so this is what you have to do. But then afterwards, then they'll give you more of a space to put in your own craft. I want to do my own Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming to the underground. You've been very, very, very helpful, very open. Yes. And with the question. Everybody know that. I'm very open. If you know me, you know. This is me. 
Lucci Underground. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, until next time, peace out. I would never leave, you never leave, and that's a fact. We was texting three four in the morning while you working. I'm texting, I love you and I adore you. Is it worth it? I told you I need you when you're my baby. Is it working? I said I'm done with all the cheating, baby. No I'm flirting. I know I said some things I didn't mean. It was in a moment. You was riding around my city with these jokers, had me hurting. So I got up in that bag, hit the street, started.